This is the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. In honor of Sonic the Hedgehog, please observe a moment of fasting. Today on the podcast, we talk about Guild Wars 2's third season of Living Story, we talk about Left 4 Dead 3 possibly being leaked by Valve employees, and the Source 2 engine. ITT Technical Institute gets shut down by the US government. Overwatch cheaters are getting fisted by the iron fist that is Blizzard, and non-cheaters are loving it. Shro derails the podcast briefly to talk about Old Man Henderson, and one of us may be leaving the show soon. Stick around, I'll see you up ahead. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. This is episode 18 for... Wednesday, December the 15th. I totally got that right on the first try. That's amazing. Uh, oh my god. Um, it's Thursday, September 15th, but okay. Damn it! No, just one time! <laughs> just one time! I wanted to get it right. Oh, I mean, no man. On By the way, my name is... My name... Or not. <laughs> it's only two hours. By the way... My name is Brian, If in case if you guys didn't know, and I'm joined here by some awesome people. We have Schrodinger's cat. Say hello. I have a root beer. He has a root beer. And we have Dude Run. I do not have a root beer. Neither do I. I don't drink root beer. But you know what I, I had like earlier? Oh, yeah. What I had earlier was actually an orange Fanta. It was pretty good. Oh, I yes. want that inside of me. It's so good, right? Do you, you guys have orange Fanta in the U.S., right? Oh, yes, hell yeah. Okay, that's good. Because, I mean, like, it was so weird when I told I'm you guys about the Fry Supreme thing, and you guys were, like, freaking out about it. Wrong. I was like... The what Did Supreme? Oh, that oh right. The, the, the Fry Supreme. I think oh, right. The Taco Bell thing, thing you linked that. a couple yeah. days ago. Yeah, sorry, Shro, what were you saying? We might need to catch the listeners up on that one. I don't think that was in a podcast. No, yeah, it that wasn't. wasn't in a it podcast. wasn't. No, no, no. That it wasn't in a podcast. Show. It was just the conversation we were having. And the, see, the thing is with the Fry Supreme, right? In Canada, it's like you have the French fries. And I guess you guys don't have French fries like at all in Taco Bell? Nope. No, you don't. Never in our lives. All right. See, that's so Taco weird. Bell. That's sacrilege. That's so, weird. so there's French fries, and you have, you know, the cheese on it. And then you have the the meat that you put in the taco. You have sour cream on it, and like all all the good stuff. And it just it looks so delicious. It's so, basically Taco Bell's poutine. Basically, yeah, it is. And uh, I mean, definitely just look it up on Google for anyone who's interested. It's just Fries Supreme Taco Bell. Just Google image search that shit. Yeah, it's really good. I actually am tempted to go and get some right now. Don't podcast need you over, here. guys. Send it. Back. <laughs> I pulled you from a competitive Overwatch rounds. Oh my god! And you know <laughs> what? We were that, actually but... we were actually doing really good too. Um, we won. We were like on the three win streak or something. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, I yeah. pulled you from that I'm actually, podcast. No, it's all good. It's all good. You know what? That was going to be my last match for the night, anyways. I was uh, okay. getting a. Uh, you know, it's like I can only play like a couple of matches at that high competitive level before i'm just like need to bring my senses down a bit you know it's like it's too much it's too much i I need to i i need to do that too (laughs) during my placement matches i was doing like two a day and Mm -hmm. i was bored the whole way but it it helped me stay sane it didn't help my win streaks or lost it helped my lost streaks if anything but yeah were you playing by yourself or did you have i was solo queue unfortunately okay yeah, I see, don't that's have always friends. Kind of, <laughs> that's always kind of hit or miss. Yeah. But yeah, so um, what are you guys up to? What are we talking today in the podcast? Well, we have a document that you are currently viewing at the moment. So well, that's I'm just the trying to transition thing. it into into whoever wants to talk about a topic first. So, go. okay, Shro, why don't you go first? Because we forgot to talk about a thing. It's true. Podcast. I should look up the thing. So we should also, as I do that, uh, point and laugh at the fact that ITT Tech has shut down all across yeah. the board. Yeah. And as people that are related to college and having to go to college, I find that hysterical. What you can segue is that into that? my thing as well. All right, okay. talk about what I do. ITT Canadians does. not have ITT tech? I don't really know how far they spread. I, I don't know, man. Probably not because it was a very American style thing. It was a grossly for profit um, trade 
tech school kind of thing where like uh, half their shit was taught online um and it was taught not by people that didn't care but if anybody actually cared about teaching students properly and you know giving students bad grades that didn't give a shit and didn't try and therefore reflected that you know they were giving students bad grades right and i think i remember hearing commercials got, you know, about this like years and years ago but i was always like i was always like yeah that kind of seems like a sketchy thing and this is back maybe in like 1998 yeah 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 they've been around for a little bit and um yeah it was sketchy then and it only got sketchier um <laughs> because they had basically rigged classes any instructor that actually tried to instruct was basically fired and only people that would kind of instruct and would just give everybody good grades and say woohoo um were, were the people that were teaching. So a lot of the students that got degrees there were horribly unqualified for what they were supposedly doing. Yeah, man. Half their stuff was, you know, stuff that shouldn't have been taught the way it was, being like way over online for like a trade job or something. Like mm -hmm. you can't learn to weld if you're looking at a slideshow. It's just not done that way. <laughs> um, and... Um, and uh, they had a lot of degrees that were kind of bullshit degrees. Right. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think we can kind of get the idea of what kind of a school it was. Like, it really right. just was, well, as you said, so, for-profit place. And it's just like, I mean, yeah. it wasn't uh, it wasn't reliable and it wasn't like a prestige school for sure. Well, that's not actually what got them shut down, though. That was just, okay, it's a shady school. Right. And they're national and have a ton of outlets. So what was it that got them shut down? The government actually did their job. Uh, the U.S. government had enough complaints and reports that the Department of Education at the federal level investigated the school, determined that they were unworthy and unaccredited for anything they were trying to do, and said, most importantly, that, look, you're having students that have almost no financial grounding, sometimes literally no financial grounding. They're poor as shit. They're unemployed. They don't have unemployment benefits. They have no loans. They have no credit. They can't get anything. And yet you're somehow managing to get them through the federal um, student loan program and getting them student loans issued through the Department of Education for tens of thousands of dollars, you're then pocketing that money because you're, it's your education, they're paying you uh, to take this money for their education, and you're taking it and using it willy-nilly for whatever you want, at the same time giving them a subpar education a lot of them not even getting a complete education because they drop out, do other things. There's no retainment responsibility going on. So it was costing the government a ton of money because a lot of these people were, you know, throwing oodles of government given dollars to ITT tech to get an education that then they couldn't use their education. <laughs> if they even got one out of it. And so the federal government put in a statute that said, yeah, you're just not allowed to take federal student loans from anybody that, you know, can't remotely support that. And I forget, I would have to look up the exact wording right now to really make that more of a qualifying thing. But they basically said, all these impoverished people with bad backgrounds or whatever, like, we'd love to see them go to school, but you guys aren't qualified to give them the, the financial background for that, as well as the education to go with it. And they need to go to a more local community college and have the proper financial discussions for it. And many students have described the process at ITT Tech as, um, you know, we spent 10 minutes talking about my degree for the next two to four years and the next hour and a half talking about how I would pay for it. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah. 
The federal government said, no, you're not allowed to take our money anymore without really good just cause, i.e. somebody like me or dude with a good financial background going to, yeah, we'd like one of your degrees. And even Maybe then... Maybe you, I have pretty shit financial backgrounds. <laughs> I am unemployed. You said it, not me, so... <laughs> Well, um, in any case, I mean, it's shut down and yeah, they, we can well, we can kind yeah, of forget about this thing now because finally it's out of oh. our lives. I like how during that whole story, Brian and I were going back and forth in the Google document writing shit. Oh, Good God. times. I had old man Henderson up, so I didn't. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. Can I do my thing really quick? Yeah, go into your segue? thing, because okay. that's, that's a good segue. I'm looking to go to college, woo. Sweet. Uh, college, the educations right of the higher. I wanted to get do into the graphic design, considering I already kind of do that for YouTube to a degree, but the I have to go you to a different campus. You want to get into graphic design or video editing? What? Graphic design. Graphic design or video do. editing? Yeah. They don't teach video editing or video production. Oh. I wanted to learn film production, but there's nothing in the state of Virginia that teaches it, except in, like, Richmond. And I don't want to go to Richmond for that. Oh, Richmond's pretty cool. They have a speedway. No, but, like, it's far away from where I am currently, and I'd like to go to the college over here, near me, but they don't have what I want to learn, what and I have to go to a different campus. What kind of perspective college student are you? You're supposed to want to move as far I'm... away from your parents as possible. I can't currently because no monies. You and do YouTube is kind of like draining my money, even though I have like $7 <laughs> a month coming into me thanks to Patreon donors. So thank you guys, by the way, and thank you, Shro, for helping Woo! with that. I can buy games. Take out large sums of federal money to move away from your parents. How do I do that? You fill out your FAFSA. Okay. <laughs> I will. Sweet. I will work on that. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna really call the FAFSA good. because a FAFSA? Kind of, no, FAFSA. So oh, F A F. No okay, F A F. I like yeah. F A P. I do too. I'm going to totally Google Speaking that now which, and see what that does. For all of you that might remember the FUPA episode, somebody linked something in the Discord chat that says "Make your DJ name," which apparently, after plugging in my name, makes me Ponce de la FUPA. <laughs> Which and is I, hysterical. <laughs> yeah. Mine is exhausted shits. Which is also love. disturbingly accurate. Yeah. I uh, should really probably see a doctor yeah. about that. Probably, but I'm not too concerned because usually when that happens, it's because I ate Mexican food, which Taco I did Bell. tonight. So that's <laughs> probably going to happen. And we determined Brian's was Ponce de Tapeworm, I think. You're a Ponce de Tapeworm, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're a parasite. <laughs> parasite. Oh, that's On the words. other hand, you're kind oh, of man. a really interesting weight loss parasite. Yes, people totally give themselves tapeworms to lose weight. It's fucking weird. That it is, is weird. Ew. We watched... <laughs> It was one of the weirder moments I had in getting my bachelor's degree, where in one of my biology classes in undergrad, the t teacher decided, you know what, we're just going to watch a movie today. And the movie wasn't exactly a movie so much as it was a TV episode off of, I can't remember if it was National Geographic or Animal Planet, but I think it was that show Monsters Inside Me or something like that. And the whole well, sure is inside you. that that uh he willingly ate a tapeworm for science Ugh. wow and then he pooped it out for science too also for his health because otherwise for science <laughs> what has science done you don't want to know <laughs> trust me okay. on this one <laughs> i, I Got it. wasn't gonna ask anyway but okay so about old man henderson Right, Old Man Henderson. For those of you who forgot about two episodes ago, we talked about Old Man Henderson because we were talking about my wonderful habit of plot derailment, also podcast derailment, as I go rambling on about things like stupid schools in America and how they're for-profit and shady. This is pretty much oh. on the Henderson scale of derailment right now. Yes, 
There's the okay. Henderson scale of derailment. And this is because, as we covered last time, a shitty dungeon master for a game called Call of Cthulhu, which is about, you know, Cthulhu-esque things in the world, uh, was really breaking the game and making it a lot of not fun. And part of things in Call of Cthulhu is that somehow someone's going to die. Or everybody's pretty much going to die. You're either going insane or you're being killed by somebody that's going insane, or you're just killed by Cthulhu, or Shargoth, or some elder god. So, or maybe crazy cultists, but... Is there a way to win this, then, if... So, you really aren't supposed to win Call of Cthulhu, it's just kind of an everybody dies in hysterical, funny ways, and so... But then, there was Old Man Henderson, so... This guy, a player, made Old Man Henderson this character with a crazy background that was literally hundreds of pages of long so that he could kind of willy-nilly edit it whenever he wanted because no one was going to read that shit, including the DM. And it made everything super plausible. And, you know, Old Man Henderson is this crazy Vietnam vet with a parrot on his shoulder that's stuffed, and he talks to it, and he, every. He, Thing he sees he just rationalizes he is in fact crazy so it makes total sense total sense so um the first outing of old man henderson was that the detective character in his group was spying on the building of cultists with a camera the jock character because we're following all the stereotypes of you know typical mystery things was parked nearby waiting for the group to let out so he could snoop it out and the professor character had joined the cult himself to try and gain information as a spy. Old man Henderson very calmly parked his car, got out holding the shotgun in clear view of anyone who happened to be looking, in this case the detective and the jock, strolled up to the front door of the house and kicked it in. Now, if you've forgotten, Old Man Henderson is with this group trying to find the cultist because he's convinced the cultists have stolen his lawn gnomes. <laughs> Even though he actually donated his lawn gnomes and then got high and forgot about it. So while everyone just kind of stopped in shocked silence for a moment, he leveled his shotgun on the lead cultist priest guy and yelled, Muckle me damn the culty are ye nemblies be keeping me wee men! <laughs> Did I meant and the uh, creator of Old Man Henderson goes off on a s soliloquy goes, did I mention that he had a nigh incomprehensible Scottish accent that came and went as he drank and or as amused me because it was fun. So the leader of the group couldn't understand my simple request to return l my lawn gnomes. Literally, you th think what I typed is hard to understand. Imagine it being slurred at you by a drum drunken Scotsman as Shro just tried to do. <laughs> he assumed I was trying to cast a spell at him in Elder Tongue and summoned a Shagoth by murdering one of his fellows. I, he, he sacrificed, the leader sacrificed a fellow cultist and summoned a monster. So, one Molotov cocktail, 20 rounds later, the Shagoth is dead, as is the cult leader, the professor, who made the mistake of trying to be peacemaker mid-murderous rampage, was disemboweled, and about ten assorted cultists had been wounded and killed in various ways. Old Man Henderson then pissed on the Shagot's corpse, got back in his battered 92 Buick Century, and went home. The whole event was over in about ten minutes game time, and nobody thought to get the Buick's plates. The building burned down shortly, along with about half the written plot, and every lead either of the other surviving players had. The GM called a break, then to figure out how to fix and or work around what I had just done to his game. <laughs> it only got crazier from there. Now remember, this is somebody posting to the old table games uh, 4chan forum. So, uh, the I that I used several times was actually the player of Old Man Henderson. And many, after he told all this, went on to go, 
and say, no, 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 we need to hear more. Are there any highlight wheels of Old Man Henderson? All right, well, we can go with some highlight wheels. So uh, the finer moments include dropping a yacht onto a penthouse suite owned by the Cthulhu cultists. The stealing of said yacht from cultists of Hastur, another god, thereby starting a cultist gang war. Quote, unquote, the tanker trunk incident. And my personal favorite, or rather the player's personal favorite, Hell on Ice. Which would you guys like to hear first? I'll leave that one for the next episode. I mean, I could totally put up a straw poll and have that on there. So, we or could, they could look yeah. up the thing themselves and then, like, spoil it. But I'd rather hear someone read it, so I'm going to leave a straw poll in the descriptions of the SoundCloud and YouTube things, and you, the viewer, or listener, whatever you, well, listener, I guess, you <laughs> can vote and tell us what story you want to hear. So there you go. I also have to point out that not in the list um, is uh, several very long director's cuts that I think there are three of, and other short stories that were not included in the original list. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of old man Henderson to cover and perhaps, uh, next time I will actually cover the Henderson scale of plot derailment after we have a uh, few examples of this in action. Sounds good to me. But yeah, at that point we can then, then apply the Henderson scale of plot derailment to, sh to my random tirades in the podcast. Or my crazy ramblings to try to find words. That too. Brian, you've been a bit dead. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I'm still good. listening. Shove a beer into him. <laughs> Don't shove a beer, shove a dildo into him. Oh my. That'll or get a beer attention. into him, then shove the dildo in after it. <laughs> or Wait coat the dildo in beer and then shove it into him. <laughs> so what else is happening? Uh Guild Wars 2 Living Stories Season 3 is coming out. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's already well, out, but this is Episode I say, 2 I would say episode of the two, Living right? Series story. And they pretty much confirmed that the Elder Dragon Primordius is going to be a thing again, I think. Just so people like don't like, come at us with pitchforks, it is Primordius, and I'm sorry to correct you on that, but... Whatever. Yeah. Primordius is active, and it's scary. So, what is exactly Primordius? The Would you like Elder to take it or me? Dragon of Fire. Yes. Apparently okay. the first Elder Dragon, I think. From yeah. Guild yeah, Wars didn't, He was the one that fought the dwarves, right? Yeah. Or rather his champion did. Or something like that. Yeah, probably, I don't know. General. I something. never played Guild Wars. I never beat Guild Wars 1. I played it, but it didn't like get far. It's um. So this has already been released. This is coming out oh. soon, but I episode say, I one of Living Story yet. is out now, and it All is right, cool. fucking nice. A little small, but really nice. There's a lot of like awesome places to check out, or just one, but yeah. Looks like uh, that last part of Final Fantasy VII. If you go into like the Earth's core or something. I definitely get that vibe from the new place. I think it's Bloodstone Fen. Pretty sure and it's Bloodstone Fen. But yeah. But I don't I don't know yet. I haven't I only you, just got back into the game. You and I need to do living story together. And Brian I think too. I actually have to board. finish Living Story season two and all of Heart of Thorns first. Hey! I mean, I, I could probably you have skip to. It. Like, I don't know. Just yeah, I don't think I like have it. to. But I mean, you know what happens. Most of it. Yeah. Oh, we all know what happens. Yes, dude gets fucked in the butt. That's like every day. Raid though. bosses. <laughs> hey, you're the one that's all up about the raid boss. Yeah, I stopped that. It stressed me out more than anything. 
<laughs> it seemed like it. Yeah. Like, the raid group I was part of, we were like... We're, I was the healer, and apparently elementalists aren't the best of healers. And we were learning all the mechanics of the bosses, and we were on Slothazor by the time I quit, so... We were doing good, they just needed a different healer that was not me, and... I think they're doing better. Words, I don't know. Also... Hello, fire oh, wild tits fire tits appears. Hi. We are on the, the, the thing. I, I can see that because yes. the channel says live. <laughs> Sure, I don't know what you're singing, and I don't think the mic can pick it up. It's the, the Pokemon so, Battle theme song. Oh, the wild okay. fire tits appeared. I'm, I'm glad oh. at least Brian's on board with this. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it because you're very quiet and. I was far trying to be quiet. Mic. Don't. No, be. I'm not actually far. Well, I did. You guys were actually still talking, so I I was Are modulating we? my voice in relevance to the actual volume of those talking around me. Okay. I just heard a lot of big words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were talking about the the Wars 2 Living Story Season 3 trailer. You might know more about this than we do. I wouldn't. I haven't played since the first episode of Season 3 came out. Oh, yeah. Oh. You could tell us a lot about the first episode, then. I certainly can. <laughs> yeah, we need to get you in on that. Intro. Though, though, yes, um, we need to run I, you I through Living Story season two first. Say no, and then season three. We need to speed run you. I and don't by speed do run. Speed I mean runs. throw you through it as throw fast me. as we can. <laughs> Launch now you out of the really... cannon we fired Brian from. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody. I where's where's Mel? I I need to get where's Mel. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a drawing of my character now <laughs> in the end of a cannon going, guys, guys, this doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> and then a, in a, an after image of you being fired out of the cannon <laughs> with a shocked expression on your face looking ahead at what could be your death. <laughs> or several hundred walls of uh, vines and thorns and possibly bloodstone. Just like so th this is where I hope to have put Genesis in front of me, and then I become a cannonball with fur. <laughs> Genesis being a really big, pretty hammer. <laughs> Wait, is that the cultist hammer design, or is that not what I'm thinking? Uh, they're related to it. The uh, other one is Entropy, which pretty much looks like the cultist hammer. Uh, okay. Genesis is the like quote good one the yellowy white light and entropy has the purpley dark light um i guess that's also a good point though is that the device uh is completely fully operational and functioning i got it running last weekend and that basically marks Shro's return to gaming as an actual capable of playing all the games gamer. Yeah. Well, it's but Shro, time. what is this device that you speak of? The device is actually supposed to be an allusion to the power supply unit that supposedly failed after the electrical company butt raped my uh, um, power grid and then caused the destruction of supposed power supply as well as several of my storage hard drive and yeah though i'm still not entirely convinced considering that the power supply tested to be fine but it still caused there was still damage that really could have only been caused by the power supply i don't know so regardless after 10 months of sitting around and being not actually sitting around having my ass just pretty much ran from school thing to work thing to school thing for many, many months, and that's why I didn't have time to do it. Uh, I finally got the fucker RMA'd. Uh, Corsair sent me a new one, no questions asked, 
and I installed it. I also upgraded since then to a new heat sink, so my computer is not nearly as much of a small fire in my room as far as heat output is concerned. It's not as loud. I put another fan in it, which looks janky as fuck because it's held in by cardboard, but whatever. Um, I have a RAID 1 system now to protect against the the failures of the storage drives, which has already been tested once and worked beautifully because one of the drives did just up and die. And I have a completely separate backup too to actually be a true backup. And I have a UPS device that's one of those battery powered hooch majiggers uh, plugged into the system now to prevent any more electrical company butt rapage. So uh, yeah, so it's got quite a system upgrade. A fun little randomness. I was chasing around a giant ghost tree in Dalaran. Somebody had a costume or something, and they were a ghost tree and running around the entire circle that is Dalaran, and his name was Crashing Thrashing Shakura. Why? Well, I don't know. It was just rather entertaining. <laughs> oh my. For context, this is World of Warcraft, by the way. I was going to say, what's a, what's a Dalaran? It's a Dalaran. Dalaran, whatever. <laughs> is it Dalaran or Dalaran? Doesn't matter. Uh, can okay. I call it Dalaran? Da the, 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 yes, you can. You mean a flying city out of a DeLorean? <laughs> like, oh no, my. does yeah. nobody Why get that? in style? Exactly. <laughs> I was just going to ask if this guy ran around at 88 miles an hour, if he just traveled through time. <laughs> he was. He was what? Pretty close to 88 miles per hour. He uh, was the guy with the tree was moving pretty goddamn fast, so we'll say that. Cool. Anyway, you have a bit of uh, Left 4 Dead news, surprisingly. Oh my god, this isn't please exactly tell me. confirmed tell me by Valve. Oh, sorry, what? I was gonna say, like, yes, please tell I me, tell Brian's me all the things. Okay. Penis. Gosh, don't have a dick, the, man. The penis is out and his hand is on it. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Uh, this isn't confirmed by Valve, but one of the developers of... One of the artists confirmed on Valve's staff has been playing a lot of Left 4 Dead 2 recently, and his hours on actual Left 4 Dead 2 are pretty zero. And this particular guy has been taking screenshots of his computer and shit, and posting Left 4 Dead 3 with a Left 4 Dead 3 folder on it, and then probably removing it. Basically... Left 4 Dead 3 is probably in the works. Nothing's been confirmed by Valve yet, as I said, but we're being hinted at, possibly. And I wish I could source it other than, like, a Kotaku article or a YouTube video describing all of these things. But fuck. That's, that's about it. I need to, like, okay. lengthen stories more. All right, nice, nice. Well, hopefully we see one really soon because I feel like Left 4 Dead 2 came out very shortly after the first one. It so. really did. It was less than a year. Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, okay, where's our third one? You know, like, but you know what I think happened? I think because uh, Total Turtle Rock basically laid down the foundation for Left 4 Dead. And then they just were like, okay, well, yeah, this is amazing. But you know what? Let's take this to the next level. So then Valve kind of did their thing. And then hence we got Left 4 Dead 2. And now it's like to top that, it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's going to take a while because it's a great game. Honestly, like I would go back and play the crap out of that. Me too, any day. But thing to keep in mind, though, we do have a new source engine coming out soon and they haven't released it yet. I mean, we have it to a degree in. Uh, there was a work. There were two games. I forget what. Almost like a Portal 2 demo thing for VR. That runs okay. on Source 2. And the Dota 2 map maker runs on Source 2. Currently, mm -hmm. those are the only two things on <laughs> Steam that support it. But there's no games that currently run on it exclusively. So whenever that's done, and whenever those games are done, we might see Half-Life 3. We might see a third Portal awesome. game. We might see Left 4 Dead 3. Maybe Team Fortress 3? Amazing. 
So they just need to get on that engine and then do it and stuff. And we might hear more about Left 4 Dead 3, but in the meantime, I'll be watching the fuck out of Source 2 news because I really want this to come out soon. Sounds great. Yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely have to look forward to that. So, what's uh, what's your toolbox problem you're having there, Shro? Oh God, no, it's just an addiction. Um... <laughs> you have an addiction to your toolbox? Yeah, a little bit. Don't we all? <laughs> um, so I have I was... an addiction to my husband's toolbox. Oh That's my! Okay. Wait, this sounds like a euphemism. I took it as a euphemism. It should I did too, but like I was chill about it because I knew it was one. No, I, I have a I, I'm talking literal toolboxes, not the euphoric or euphemistic kind. Oh, why euphemistic not? Euphemistic euphoria? Is that euphoria? I you, you, um, you gotta you gotta admit whoa. You know, with whoa. A, with a girl who has flaming tits for her avatar. I am going to make some some crass comments from time to time. Yeah. We've not expect anything less, Hold on. Honestly. We got <laughs> What? We got to freeze the presses. What? What Why? happened? So one of my friends, the, the guy that gave me Factorio only for us to discover that at the time I couldn't play it because of my stupid... Uh, old graphics card having too little video memory well he just gifted me something else with no warning <laughs> and it is it's in the chat oh. it's the gift oh, of pregnancy my <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I don't know what I don't I, I, I don't know I do what not know I Interactive short story where the player attempts to influence the decisions of a 14-year-old girl about the future of her pregnancy. What? I... What? I... Shro, what? I don't even know why I just accepted this. I would totally <laughs> accept it. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much just did, but, like... What the hell? This is just weird to read. <laughs> In your library, pregnancy. Would you like to install pregnancy? <laughs> yes. Click yes. <laughs> you just what go find your fuck? girlfriend, and there you go. No, just kidding. What the fuck? I just... I don't even... <laughs> breathe, Tro. <laughs> yeah, do breathe. That That is an important thing. Would you like some ice chips? It sounds like this. <laughs> We will I rock you. <laughs> it does sound very similar to that, yes. I guess, yeah, that is, that is the right pattern. What? In, in, out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. Do you want me to talk what for a little bit while you process a, that? A, a toolbox? That is what we were talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How perfectly um, timed is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so, all of my life, my uh, father specifically, and a few others, have encouraged a very do-it-yourself attitude of repairs and fixing things. And hell, it was even how I got my first job because my parents were very much the attitude. You want to go do things? Well, go pay for it yourself. Go do it yourself. So I did. And I'm very much a tinkerer and creator of things. Part of me wonders if I should have gotten an engineering degree. And so since my middle teenage years, I've been slowly collecting various forms of tools, whether they be, you know, pliers, screwdrivers, to saws, drills, sanders. Uh, recently an angle grinder, uh, all sorts of stuff. But what this has done is that I, I need ways to store all of these things. And so I had a nice big toolbox before uh, I went to college. 
And shortly into it, I got a drill that came with a toolbox and the drill was a piece of shit and eventually broke. Um, and then I got a second toolbox for electrical things. And then uh, more recently, I got a toolbox that had lots of little toolboxes you could pull out of it. Um, oh, so, those. So that's super handy. Uh, Got to put a lot of my small part miscellaneous stuff in there. But I, my two bigger toolboxes still were hardly enough to contain even just some of the power tools I have. So I really needed like a big toolbox just for power tools. And I found one and I used my gift card to Lowe's from Christmas last year to, to buy it. It is large enough that I can put my dog in it. And how big is your dog, so we all know? Like 40 pounds. So, hell, honestly, if I curled up into a tight enough ball, I could probably fit into it. Uh, I'd like it, to see that. Well, then I kind of then you'd literally be Schrodinger's cat. Yeah, I would. <laughs> slap a nuclear symbol on the side of this thing and we're good to go. <laughs> you should I leave um, a hole for not only air, but your computer or something like a cable to plug into the thing so yeah i just um yeah i i'm on like depending on how you want to break down that one that breaks into a bunch of different toolboxes i have somewhere between six and nine toolboxes i'm 25 most people my age don't have a toolbox i have a toolbox problem I'm collecting toolboxes, basically. Well, okay, then. So, yeah, that, that wasn't really supposed to be a big drawn-out thing. That was that was silly side note. But my brain is still recovering from pregnancy, so... It takes a couple of years before you fully recover. Yeah, I, I've heard that. You, you have this decades, thing called baby actually. brain? Oh, wow. Oh, we all have baby brain to a degree. Yeah, I still do from time to time. I well, just kind of like shout he, at things. Is he four yet? He's four and a half. Four and a half? Okay. I have too many friends that have decided to spawn recently, and I can't keep track of everybody's age. I can't remember my own age half the time. Did I turn 25? Yeah, I did. No, I'm... Especially when those fucking surveys call. Are you, press 1 if you are under the age of 18. Press 2 if you are between the ages of 18 and 24. Press Where's 3 the one if for you're 25. Three, and, oh, shit. What was that? 2, 3, my 20... 20 uh, What's fuck. my age again? I'm 99. Press 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than that. What what is a phone? Uh anywho. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just broken right now. Pregnancy. Okay, we got some Overwatch stuff to talk about. No, it's not Sombra, shut up. No Thank one cares God. about Sombra anymore. Nobody like, cares about her anymore. Yeah, we're on the waiting game still, and fuck it. Anyway, cheaters have been banned in waves in Overwatch, and oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, I heard about this thing. So cheaters are getting ban hammered really hard on the first left offense, as right they promised. And left and right, left, right, up and down, and just kind of like the hammer is going a, down. A B, A B, and start. Yes. <laughs> it's not getting them out of it though. Uh, and the cheaters seem to be seem to have this very weird sense of entitlement. Like cheating is apparently fine to them and they shouldn't be banned permanently. Can someone explain that logic to me, please? Like No. What the fuck? No? Anybody? I, no? I don't know. Okay, good. Because I don't understand it either, and I don't think anyone at Blizzard understands it either. 
But I mean, as I was saying earlier, there are you know confusions over things sometimes. Like I know people in Guild Wars have gotten in trouble for using uh, auto clickers to clear out their inventory, where it's not even really like a script to do something specific to their inventory. It's literally just they press a button on their mouse with their left mouse button or something. And oh, it it's a mouse macro. Are they banned for that? Um, if they detect it, people have gotten in trouble for it. It's not really a problem, but it's caused problems where it's oh. tripped up the, the anti-cheat protection of sorts. Um, oh. And I, I've heard now that Anet's uh, initial first line of like the uh, anti-cheat mods, if you will, are actually outsourced. They're not true Anet employees. So huh. that that's part of where some of the difficulty with troubleshooting some of those issues is, is that people need to work really hard to get to an actual Anet employee. But I don't know. That's neither really here nor there. But another thought came to my mind is uh, how WoW has all the different like mods for GY and... Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's not supposed to help you cheat. Like, I have right. never yeah, seen no, they're not. They're not cheating tools, but yeah. it, it blurs the line a little bit sometimes, and it's caused issues in the path. path past. Word! Damn it. Ass. The word you're looking for <laughs> is ass. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> yeah, WoW is, like, modded to shit in positive ways as mentioned like it helps you with dungeons and stuff and doesn't help you cheat yeah the, the actually right now currently i only have uh, two um, i used to be all modded out when i played before but not not so much anymore currently i've got one that gives me cords so it's easier for me to find things instead of running around the whole zone and go where the fuck is this bitch Oh, and um, I also have a DBM that they boss mods for dungeons mm -hmm. when I happen to do them, which is almost never. <laughs> yeah, that's like required now. I never play WoW without DBM anymore. Assuming I can play ever again, because money. Yeah, cheaters in Overwatch have this weird sense of entitlement where they are. They feel they're not. They don't deserve the ban, even though they cheated, and when they play the game, they agree to the terms of use to never cheat, or you'll be banned, and what do they do? That thing I just said. Butts. All the butts. All the butts. In fact, Brian and I were playing Quick Play earlier, mm -hmm. like a couple days ago, and found an aimbotting Hanzo. Yeah, you were there for that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I also reported the guy. There were like three yeah, people with us. Yeah, was so annoying. So annoying. Yeah, there were quite a few people with us on our team, and we reported them. Yep. Funny when they got play of the game, you could like tell they were aimbotting, too. It was so obvious. Like, yeah, and they had the they were, to like, deny it. Yeah, they were totally not even looking to the character, and then all of a sudden it's like, click right on headshot. It was like, really, guy? Yep. Like, really? Like, come on. We had, like, auto-follow. Like, there was 122% aim assist there. Such bullshit. It really was. It kind of takes the fun out of the game. Oh, and no, one other thing ooh, Blizzard's bro. doing is not banning just one account. They're banning the person from playing the game. So if you make an alt account and buy the game again and they find out that you bought the game again, whether you cheated or not, they're going to ban you from that again. That's a little excessive to me, but hmm. me, I may be the odd one out in that or in that mindset. I figured they, they'd be fine. Keep, keep banning them. They make more money because the people keep buying the game. Yeah, but assume if they're not cheating on the second account, it might. What if they're never going to cheat yeah, again? I, I, that kind of thing. Like there needs to be an appeal for that. I know what you mean. Not an appeal, but like 
Yeah. In other news, I'm really, really mad that my fucking joystick isn't working right now. You gotta joystick. work the shaft a little bit and then just, like, let it get hard. Uh, He's talking about drivers for an actual joystick. It might need some lubricant, too. Yeah, yeah. use that, too. It's old. Might as well just Lube keep this corn. whole thing x-rated, okay? Nah. I mean, it pretty well, much audio is. podcast, so we can't really t we can't really show anything, except for that one time on YouTube where we did. But that was like something we can't. That's like something we can show. So what's this Florida motherfucker thing on the Google Doc? Um, my attempt to be Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, cool. Can you elaborate on the other thing? Should I? Yes, what maybe, because, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of the last thing we need to talk about. Yeah, well, it is. Almost. But yeah. So. <laughs> uh, Got on for an hour. <laughs> has it really been already? 50 minutes. 51 minutes. But yeah. oh. Well, that's not bad. Um, so, I am actually, after the podcast, going back to working on my graduate school application, which I will be finishing up and submitting tomorrow, or rather later today. And when I do that, that kind of frees up my schedule. So we're going to be doing lots of things here in IA. The website work is continuing and going to be polished up. Maybe have that launched in a few weeks, possibly. Um, tend to see what we're doing game-wise. Trying to get some game recurring game events going again. Fuck yeah. You know. Go do stuff. Those things we used Have to do. Have the funds. Before arrows Play got taken games. to knees. Yeah. What's a kneecap? I don't even think I have one anymore. I don't anymore. feel my knees, dude. I don't think I even have legs. I am literally just a butt and then a torso. And then arms. And then a head. And a beard. God, I love my beard. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have one when I was in Florida, okay? You Why weren't not? allowed? Retail wouldn't let me have it. Oh. I could have a mustache Man, or no facial hair at all. Yeah, they were weird. I wasn't going to name the store, but IG. that's fine. I'm not there anymore. I find that strangely odd. You can have, like, piercings, tattoos, beards up the wazoo anywhere in Nevada. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, but at uh, where I worked, you they couldn't be well, visible, and men could not have piercings. Florida so is it, one of the, quote, fucked up states of America. Uh, yeah, and yeah. That, that would be the truth, strange, yes. Strange old people that have no concept of reality around them. And apparently, I can. it looks like I can have a beard in this state for wherever I work in retail here, so... Yay! I can have face hair! <laughs> face hair! Face hair! Adam can, because he's no longer in the military, so he's been all about that. Oh, cool. As long as he doesn't let it get too scruffy, I'm cool with him having a beard. I've tried, I've tried doing the whole beard thing, and um, honestly, for me, it's just, I'm just like... I kind of like it for a little bit. A I kind of like it for a little bit, and after I'm like, no, it's just not me, man. Like, I look so much better without it, so I shave it off. Yeah, I I would agree with you. Thank you. Definitely. I said looking like uh, hoboish. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't yeah. imagine Shro without a beard. Trust me, we tried that once. Not a good idea. I literally had people I didn't even know on campus because it was in college for a Halloween thing. People I didn't know on campus came up to me and said, hey, man, I don't know what you did and why you shaved your beard off, but don't do it again. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I will take your advice, wise ones, as soon as it grows back. Sounds like fun. Oh, and apparently, uh, when does a beard competition happen? It's usually March. 
No shave March, isn't it? No shave November. Oh. No, but I mean, like, there's an actual, like, worldwide beard competition. Oh, my God. Should I enter? I mean, I feel like... No, trust me. Trust me, man. These guys are like... <laughs> you, I think you would win for Creeper Beard, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta see some of these beards is, like, insane. Like, the, the time and effort that they've put into this also it's beard like beard is, uh, design rather than just the beard okay it's yeah. overall everything yeah it's like design okay. and all this other stuff yeah i would fail but i would still like to like just have an entry just to say i did something <laughs> have them laugh like yeah this is boring oh whatever <laughs> throw it in the pits of hell i wonder how they'd react though if i did like a stupid face to it that'd be interesting well i think we've pretty much exhausted all of our uh, discussion topics, but um, th- is there anything we'd like to say before we head on to the final topic? Any other things um, you, uh, you might want to talk about? Butts, you might hashtag missed? butts. Poop. All hail the device. Relevant <laughs> to dudes. Poop. Ah, uh, yeah. It sounds okay. like good times. Dudes poops. Exhausted. Well, no, shits. he was talking about he was talking about butts, and I'm like relevant yes. to what dude said. Poops. All the poops. It, it is a very popular word in my house right now because my son is four and he's obsessed with that word. So he will yes. probably be obsessed with that word for life, as he should be, because that is a funny word. It's a funny after word. After a while, poop becomes shit, and then it just stops being funny. And then after a while, you get tired of saying shit, and then it becomes funny again. This is true. Yes. So, my question mark? Exclamation point. Okay, Brian. <laughs> do thing. Pretty much. Yeah, so, as I've uh, mentioned to uh, these guys before, is... Uh, I'm kind of getting out of gaming again, and this usually happens every so often. You know, like I'll I'll stop gaming for a few months and then most likely come back. You fucking um, so it's I know <laughs> so it's probably gonna happen again. So just in case if this does end up being my last episode for a while, who knows? Um, just no, want to let everyone know. Just so talk about gaming. <laughs> Just in case, you know, if like I, I for some reason I'm not in the next podcast, it's not because, you know, we got in an argument or, you know, we no longer love each other or anything like that. It's because I'm taking a break. We went to fire him out of the cannon again and then the cannon backfired. And, and then I got shot. Really big <laughs> <by> mess. <Ryan's> <laughs> <butt>. <laughs> That's because you kept singing that theme song all the time. Which theme song? The podcast theme song. Oh, oh, that! I thought it was the uh, the other theme song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Sit on my face and tell me oh that God. you love me. <laughs> I'll sit in your face and tell you I love you too. We weren't gonna, t- dude. You. We weren't Here gonna talk you about that. Eyes, one in between your thighs. You blow me away. <laughs> you said we weren't gonna talk about that. Were we? <laughs> when did we <laughs> say this? That was when did amazing. I agree to this? Oh, that was pretty amazing. The answer though. is never. <laughs> so yeah, you know, just giving you guys a heads up, whoever's whistling. Whistling? Um, whistling? <laughs> yeah, I heard whistling, whistling too. Yes. Whoever's whistling while they're listening, you know? I can't whistle. Someone else do it, please. Thank you. <laughs> I thought wait, I heard wait, Mario wait, wait, for wait, wait. a second, and then like... The sit on my face song. Brian, <laughs> do you want to try and do something that I did with one of my coworkers at my old um, pizza shop job? I'm scared. No, just whistle and hold a very, very constant pitch. <laughs> Guys, this is great radio. That's <laughs> <laughs> say that. I can't do it. I use too much I breath. Can't, yeah, I, was, I can't get it on the uh, on Discord. No, we somehow managed to whistle one time at work. Uh, he whistled a pitch, and I I followed up with it, and we had a perfect dissonance 
to the point where it like hit one of those magical resonance frequencies in the dissonance and just oh, became ear splitting. <laughs> oh we god. We weren't even loud. It was just when it hit that magical for, for like two seconds, just over the sound of the ovens, the fan, people talking, the phones ringing, the coolers, like suddenly just this shrill bone shattering noise. And we then your ears exploded and everybody died the yeah, end. Pretty much. <laughs> Somebody threw a pizza cutter at us. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Bloody <mess. laughs> We also became useless for a minute because the two of us just fell apart, cracking up like, oh my god, what did we just do? <laughs> so, all right. Well, I'm pretty sure we're still going to drag you into the podcast, Brian. But I feel like it's probably I'll at happen. least ask. Yeah. Let us know if you're not, if you're going to. Assuming, Let us like, know if you're going to go hang with common all the ladies thing? instead of your dork friends. Yes. Or your dork lady friends, whichever, like is the truth. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm a dork lady friend. I'm a dork lady <laughs> friend. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Not really, but eh, maybe. No one's seen my junk yet. I could be a lady. I could be a lady. I could be a lady. Well. lady. She's We've never been man, bearded ladies before. Man. I could be a lady. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, wow, dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like she how does that actually look like a lady now. I, actually, I like how that is actually the lyrics to the song. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's no flip in anything there. Yeah. It's insane, dude. Yay. Anyway. Good time. Oh, yeah, Love I think that, that was pretty much everything we wanted to talk about. Yeah. We're at the one hour mark. So let's uh, let's just cut this thing up and uh, cut, cut it up. Cut the umbilical cord, just like after pregnancy. <laughs> Play that and let oh, us know what you have to is do. That, is that the sequel or is that like the DLC? <laughs> cutting, cutting the umbilical cutting the cord? If not, become... it better be something in Surgeon Simulator. I want that. Oh, man. Then from so there, you fucked actually up, though. just end up playing Octodad. Oh, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention I was playing Octodad, or did I mention And that? shower with your dad sit later. I have not played that yet. I think I have it, though. I gotta look at my Steam list. And then find somebody to commentate on it with me. I, I have no words for that. <laughs> anyway, since we haven't done an outro yet, you can find all of us or where we are on social media or online in the description below. Thank you guys for joining us all. Brian, for coming out of your Overwatch game that I dragged you from to be here. Oh yeah, I forgot that happened. Yeah. Still Thank you, you, Fire Tits Magoo. I will uh. for coming in and joining us. Magoo! And Shro for... Oh, fire Tits appears. I don't know what the fuck you were doing, Shro. Being a oh, cat, a, being out of your box long enough to do, I guess, I don't know. There's radiation poisoning everywhere. Yeah, um, you gonna clean that up or no? I can't lick that up. Damn it. Okay. And even if I did, I'd puke it back up later. <laughs> Cause cat <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, it just depends on where you puke it up. Anyway, we're lengthen. We're keep. We're gonna. We're going on too long. Anyway, thank you guys for <laughs> listening. We'll see you guys thank next week. Thank you guys. Hopefully, we'll see you soon -ish. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, sooner than how we did this week. Is, uh, I think we're two weeks late. Sounds about right. We're very late. We? we need to get in the swing of things. We were this doing week. so well. We gotta and get into shit the sex fan. swing. And by shit, I mean Brian. And by Sorry. sex swing, I mean <laughs> sex swing. <laughs> Wow. Set on my okay. face and let my lips <laughs> embrace you. Goodbye, everybody. We are the Insomniacs Anonymous, and we are out. I'll sit in your face and then I'll I'll be true. And out and in and out and in and out and in. And out. <laughs> Burger.
I want an In-N-Out burger. I've never been to one. I have one down the street. I want it inside of me. Not the burger, the place. <laughs> that would have a lot of burgers in it, though. That Yes, that it would. And then I would be content for about a week. And then I'd need another burger place. There's a Hardee's here, and I haven't been to it yet. I've never been to Hardee's. Have you been to Carl's Jr.? No. Okay, I was going to say, never if you've been to Carl's Jr., you've been to Hardee's. <laughs> yeah. Been to Checkers. That's... Yep, shit. well, that's all over Florida. I imagine yeah. you would. I haven't found one in Virginia yet. I had I hadn't seen him outside of Florida until I moved here. Brian, say a thing about food. Sushi is gushi. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck is gushi. Mushi? What is gushi? Bushi. Bushi? Stop recording at this point, right? <laughs> I was still going on for like the end thing, but okay.